Good afternoon. My name is Jordan Mercure, and I would like to thank all of you for being here today. I'm an Eagle Scout from Troop 252, and I've been involved with scouting since I was a Tiger Cub in first grade. Scouting has been the highlight of my life and the road that has led for success and an integral part of the person I am today. Scouting has given me mentors and helped me build and share traditions, as well as get me through hardships and have me prepared to take action in all of life's twists and turns. Scouting has prepared me for so much more than how to pitch a tent, tie a knot, or read a map. Scouting has prepared me for life. When I joined scouting as a Tiger Cub in Pack 277, I was introverted and in desperate need of friends. Scouting never ceased to give me opportunities to learn, grow, and marvel at all this world has to offer. First trip I can remember, we all drove to Raccoon Mountain Caverns to go spelunking. Crawling through the small tunnels on our bellies and sliding around in the mud was all good fun for laughing at how we got to skip bathing for two days. But the feelings of accomplishment, kinship, and amazement were unlike any other I had felt at the time. And it pushed me to experience more and more throughout my time with Pack 277. Scouting has provided me with mentors and leaders to look up to. When I crossed over into the older scout program, I moved to Troop 252, following a few of my companions and a man I idolize to this day, my former scoutmaster, Bill Eubanks. Mr. Eubanks had been my cub master in Pack 277, and his exuberance and positivity towards scouting, as well as the development of his cubs, was an inspiration to all who knew him. When his son transferred to Troop 252, Mr. Eubanks transferred as well, and he made his way to Scoutmaster with the same enthusiasm that had fueled his pack. Sure enough, many in my pack followed suit. Thanks to Mr. Eubanks' impact, I met friends and formed bonds that will last a lifetime. Scouting has prepared me for, with many traditions that have since become integral into my life. These traditions became an avenue to introduce others to scouting. I wear a necklace around my neck. This necklace has a grommet on it. That grommet came from an American flag that my troop retired in a ceremony that, to honor that flag and many others like it that were no longer fit to fly. That grommet is a conversation starter that people remark on and ask about. It allows me to share some of my scouting experiences with others, as well as the patriotism and core values that are essential to scouting's culture. Scouting has not only gifted me with leaders to look up to and friends to carry with, on with my journeys, but it has helped me through hardships that I never knew I needed help through. I have often wondered where it is I'll end up and where my road leads. Through scouting, I have seen that living itself is the greatest adventure of all. You can get through life never exploring and never feeling a thrill in the world, but I've learned through scouting that that's not how life should be lived. And unfortunately, it's a feeling I endured through a challenging time in my childhood. Shortly after I joined my troop, my world was altered forever. My world came crashing down completely, and my foundations themselves were cracked. My parents had decided to divorce. I became discouraged, lonely, and distrustful of all I knew. For if one cannot trust the hearts of his own kin, what can he do about his own? That was a question that plagued me when I couldn't put into words. And in the eye of the storm, I almost quit scouting, as it was just another tie to my world gone haywire. However, thanks to my mother and leaders I tr learned to trust and count on in scouting, I found a way out of the chaos and back to the world. The happiest images I remember of that challenging time are all related to the Boy Scouts of America a safe haven in which I almost abandoned. Scouting has also prepared me for many of life's hurdles and everyday things, whether it's helping an old lady across the street or a true crisis where lives are on the line. I never knew that scouting would be able to prepare and provide the training that I needed to help and serve others, and one in particular on a summer day. That training became critical to survival of someone that I consider dear to me. I was enjoying another sweltering day of summer yard work 
and it stopped to grab other equipment when my phone rang. I picked up the phone through a voice that I will never forget. And it's a voice I hope to never hear again. It was the voice of a girl that had chosen me to be her last call in this world. Times were rough, she was hurting, and her solution was to overdose. I spent the next hour, while half a city away, doing all I could to keep her talking to me on the phone while I coordinated her rescue. I sent a friend to her house to stop her while I kept her on speakerphone, unaware of my intervention. When she realized I had sent this friend, she ran and completely fled the scene. I flew into a panic spree of phone calls. I got a hold of her mother, 911, and any other friends in the area that might be able to help us locate her. We were all trying to track her as authorities went to her home. By the time the ambulance had arrived, she had come back, barricaded herself in her room, and swallowed not one, but two bottles of medication. After a nerve-wracking hour of trying to keep her alive, it became a waiting game. All I could do was wait and pray for her survival. She survived. Thankfully, she made it through the next few weeks of hardship and hospitalization and eventually found a track to true healing. I wouldn't have been able to help my friend without the training I received with the Boy Scouts of America. I recalled the first aid training and the emergency preparedness training that I took as a scout, which helped me deal with a stressful situation and calm her down through her own. Even the experiences of camping and being in the outdoors with limited supplies and a problem to solve, that helped as well. Rarely do you get training on how to handle a situation like I had. But the combinations of experience and preparation through scouting have molded me and motivated me to become who I am today. Someone who can take on any situation with confidence, humility, and care. That life I carved for myself with the guidance of scouting and the life that I helped save that night is what led me to speak here today. From then on, I not only survived the hardships and challenges, but I moved towards really living. I began reconnecting with a world which had faces that I never knew existed. The heart of a life had begun to, sh begun to show once again. Suddenly, hope had come back to me, and I began planning for the life I had ahead, and it led me to aspire for better things. I continue to prepare myself for a future that no matter where life leads, I can support myself and my posterity indefinitely. I want to be a good man, and more importantly, a good father, for it rejects many of the hardships that I faced in my youth. I plan on raising my children to those standards and guiding them down the Eagle Trail that I myself have walked. Scouting is one of the single greatest opportunities for kids to learn how to become leaders and live meaningful lives. I, it has given me the confidence to face every tomorrow as a new challenge to be won, with the knowledge and skills to ensure triumph. More importantly, scouting gave me many friends which I am proud to call my family and that I can trust. There is no way to truly understand scouting's influence unless you have seen it or lived it. It is an experience like no other. Scouting prepares the youth of today for the future and the world of tomorrow. A future of responsibility, preparedness, and living the best life possible, no matter what mountains might lie in your way. I believe that when a great organization like the Boy Scouts of America maintains its core values and keeps supporting the growth of children into fully capable, moral, and responsible citizens, it will continue to be an institution that will strengthen our communities. If I leave you with anything today, let it be that scouting is an organization unique to this world with boundless opportunities for self-betterment and learning. It is an organization that needs your time and treasure. Just as scouting has prepared me for my future, I hope that my journey encourages you to help prepare another young person for the amazing next step into scouting. Thank you.